Yo, it's still your boy, Genic. Wano. Recording a lot in the same couple of days because I want to be scheduled out for a certain amount of time so I don't got to worry about it, even though I shouldn't worry about it anyway. And I'll tell you why in another video. Not this one. Welcome back, Yakuza Kiwami Part 7. Let's get it. 7 of probably 40. <laughs> Last time we were doing some side side quests and then we we're also trying to go to purgatory. Because we whipped some ass, Omi Alliance ass. We had to go get information from our informant. Alright. I was gonna go to the club with her. Hi, mister. Are you alone? Sure. Sure, what's up? I work at the cabaret club near here. I'm going to read this again. Uh, my regular, who was supposed to come uh, and request me, canceled last minute. Honestly, I'm in a bind. If you're not too busy, I would like to... Uh, would you like to take his place? Sounds like fun. Great thing. Sounds like fun. Really? Awesome. I'm so happy. But I still have some time before my shift starts. So how about taking me out on a date before we head inside? Sorry, but I don't have that much time. What? Then you can't help me? But it's okay. Thanks anyway. Bye. Damn. We're not be able to do that later. Where was I going? That's right. The one who wanted the dress for the period piece that she's auditioning for. Still haven't found Majima. I'm so glad I have that move. Really shouldn't use dragon, but you know, I like it. Can't believe I can't find Majima. Guess we'll go to Purgatory after this. Oh, kitty you son. Did you bring me the body con dress and the feather yeah. fan? Yeah, I got them for you. You did? <laughs> really? Not something I'd lie about. Here you go. Hand it over the body con dress and the feather fan. Yes, they're just like the ones I saw the women wearing in the video. Um, be sure I can have these? I don't like I'd have any use for them. Go for it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Be right back. I'm going to try them on. I just happened to buy the right size. <laughs> Kitty son, thank you for waiting. Oh. I just wanted to do that. I'm sorry. You look pretty good in that dress. <laughs> thank you. Hey, check it out. Hmm? That dress. I gotta admit, that's really sexy. Oh? Hey, looks like you're starting to turn some heads. Uh, I guess so. This outfit is pretty flashy. How embarrassing. The women at the time probably weren't too embarrassed because everyone was wearing similar dresses. But when you're the only one, you kind of stand out. A lot. Well, if you're happy with it, why don't you change back? Good. Hey, what's going on? No, I won't change. 
If I'm too embarrassed just to wear it, then there's no way I'll be able to audition in it. I need to capture the spirit of the era. Nanny. Huh? <laughs> I'm dressed for dancing, so that's what I'm gonna do. Are you sure? Yes. I bet I can even pull off some of the moves I saw in the footage at home. I see. But you know you're gonna call a lot of attention to yourself, right? People might think you're crazy or weird. <laughs> I'll be fine. Keep your eyes on me, kitty son. Sure. I should keep my distance so nobody thinks I'm crazy, too. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Hey, what's going on here? What a cool dance. <laughs> hey, you've got moves, girl. Huh? He does dance pretty well. You're having so much fun. Can I join you? <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Woo! She's really got the crowd moving. Maybe she's just the kind of person who draws others to her. Who are you, creepy man? <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. You're a great dancer. We should dance again soon. I'd love to. Okay, see ya. Thanks for waiting, Kiryu-san. <laughs> you got the whole club going. Yes, the customers around me uh, were really into it. I had so much fun. Dancing in this dress made me feel like I could do things I wouldn't normally try. I bet the women who lived in these days of disco felt the same way. I see. Well, they say clothes make the attitude. Yes, and it's all thanks to you for giving me the bodycon dress and feather fan. I can't thank you enough. No problem. Excuse me, ma'am. Can I have a word? Huh? Um, sure. Huh? Who's this guy? That's a lovely outfit you got on. My outfit? You mean this bodycon dress? Oh, so you know what it's called, huh? Of course. It's short for body conscious, I'm told. Oh, you know your stuff. You look pretty young, but you must be familiar with the bubble, bubble economy era, huh? <laughs> ah, sort of. I know about how these people used to wave 10,000 yen bills to hail a cab anyway. Oh, you're right. Do you know why? Well, unlike today, the cab drivers used to be more selective about their passengers. So to flag them down, people needed to indicate they had money to go far, right? <laughs> That's correct. And you must know about the young men who would drive their lady friends around instead of using the cabs. Oh, you mean the leg lads? There were also grub buds, keeper coons, and gift guys. Pretty sad nicknames, but pretty interesting times. Well, that's just wonderful. Hold on just a second. Why are you asking her all these questions? Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me. I'm a film director. The name's Yamada. A film director? Yes, I came to the club to see if I could scout talent for my next project. Disco Queen of Love. That's when I saw the young lady dancing in the bodycon dress. Woo! Good. Hey, Aya, isn't that the movie? Yes! That's the movie I was gonna audition for in this dress. Is that so? Well, that cert makes uh, everything, or that certainly makes everything a lot easier then. Aya son, would you like to be cast in my next film? Huh? Uh, are you serious? Really? Yeah. You've really captured the essence of the bubble area, and your uh, charisma has yet uh, has me quite taken. Oh my gosh, are you sure someone like me is so qualified to play the lead role? Yeah. I think you're perfect. Thank you very much. If you'd take me, I'd love to do it. Thank you so much for this opportunity. <laughs> that's some good fortune. I feel like I'm walking on air, kitty san I can't thank you enough for your help. I didn't do much. You're the one who studied hard and let yourself cut loose on the dance floor in front of everyone. You deserve it. Thank you, but I can't leave without thanking you in some way. Please, take this. You've got double feathered fans. <laughs> Wow, I'm so happy. I think I'm going to cry. 
<laughs> but be warned, I can be kind of a bear on set. Get all your tears out now, okay? Oh, of course, sir. You can be as strict with, uh, with me as you need to be. Great attitude. Let's make a wonderful film. Okay. Well, I'll get going then. Looking forward to seeing you on the big screen. Please do, kitty son. Thank you very, very much. Alright. That should be a sub story done. The bubble economy, huh? I wonder if things will ever be like that again. That was 15,000? Damn. All right, we can go to purgatory now. During a finishing blow, you can throw a guarding enemy to the ground, usable only in heat mode. You need a full tank, cause or uh, destroyer secret gorged. You need a full tank to cause destruction. This boosts your attack power significantly when your health is full. Triggered when health is full. Okay. Boost attack damage. Yes. Give me. Reduces damage you take when thrown by an enemy. Only activates when you are calm. When you're pushed to your limit, you unflinchingly ignore pain, even if attacked by uh, a blade or firearm. Okay. Further boosts your defense while performing resist or guard. Purgatory, I guess. Unless we finally find Majima. Which, at this point, I just doubt. What's up, homies? Get out of here. Oh! The fuck out of my face. Forgive you. You picked the fight with me, alright? Learn from your sins. And your stupid decisions. There's West Park again. Oh, what up? You want some? I love that move. I love that move. Just end the last two? Fuck it. Gotta be shitting me. Do I look like I'm shitting you? Another fucking. You want?
Get kicked, son. Anyway, to purgatory. That's out of order. Hey, you. Didn't you see the sign? Out of order? Can't you read? I saw it. Well, then you can't complain if you get hurt. Scram, we don't any want anything to do with Yakuza. I said get out of here. Our public bathrooms for public use. Damn you. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that's right. Understood. Let him through. Damn, they upgraded this park. This way. I will take you, Kiryu-san. You already know me, huh? That's purgatory for you. Boss is waiting for you at the far end, underground. Go ahead. Weapon shop. This is stuff essential in this town. Am I right? What do you need? Sell shit here. Sell these. Super slick tires. Oh, first off, yes, buy those. Master Ball. Eleven can apply enough force to knock out your average throw. Thanks. See you again real soon. Boss is waiting for you at the far end, underground. Go ahead. This should be a fight. Holy shit. I like purgatory. Interesting. So, what do you think of our underground pleasure palace? Kiryu-san. You know who I am, too? Yes. In purgatory, information is our product. Everything that happens up top uh, filters right down to us below. Well, the boss is waiting for you. Get a save in there. <laughs> <laughs> so, how are we playing today, my sweet? Hmm? Who are you? Oh, I was just curious about this place. By Jove, man. Can't you see I'm occupied? I was just about to enjoy a taste of this little delicacy now. Oh, hello. Is this your first time here? Yeah, it is. That's so cute. The area is social club, uh, only op- or social- The area is a social club, op only open to VIPs. 
Are you a man of means, sir? I don't mean to presume, but you seem out of your element here. Indeed. This is hardly a place for one such as yourself, now. Be a good sport and run along. Thank you, courtesan. Stay a while, big guy? I've got someone to meet. Aw, they'll wait. There's no rush here. I can help you understand that if you let me. Understand what, exactly? <laughs> Playing hard to get? You're my kind of man. Are you hitting on me? Don't waste your time. Aw, oh, such a stick in the mud. Why come near me if you're not gonna, uh, if you're not... Why come near me if not to come on to me, handsome? Oh. <laughs> Did you need something? Oh, such a cold greeting from such a hot man. What kind of woman does a hot and cold stud desire? You're losing me here. <laughs> Plain coy, huh? I know you want me. Want to taste my forbidden fruit? Well. Oh, fly my paper money. <laughs> Oh, I can't go in there. Fuck. Oh, I think that's the fighting arena. Whoa. Ah, welcome. Are you here to bet? What would I be betting on? Oh, is this your first time? You want to put a horse in the race or on the struggle between heaven and hell? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> if you don't know, I got nothing to say. This is reserved for Purgatory's VIP. If you ever earn such an honor, I hope to see you then. You want something? Do you know anything about the florist of Sai? Huh? You mean the boss of this little pleasure district? That'd be the guy. Not a thing, actually. I'm only here to blow money. I'd rather not meet the guy, if I'm being honest. Makes sense. Why not take time to give in to your desires? This place is full of carnal delights for all appetite. Hey handsome, wanna play a game? Kitty you son, correct? We've been expecting you, please. Head to the mansion at the end of the bridge. What kind of place is this anyway? <laughs> this is Purgatory, the Garden of Lost Souls. The florist of Sai is the master here. He knows all. Some legendary informant, huh? Okay. Kiryu Kazuma. Kazuma Kiryu. Out on parole and raising hell already, eh? Are you the florist? You need intel on something? The Tojo clan's 10 billion yen, and? Yumi and Mizuki, two sisters, and my fee? How much are you asking? There are expenses to gathering info. I have men planted everywhere. From the color of the cabaret girl's panties to the backroom deal. Even murders that never make it public. All that information comes through me. I connect the billions of details and offer accurate data to my customers. That's why my intel comes at a premium. You get it, right? I can't pay you right now, but I don't have much time. I figured. Hey. 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 Ten years ago, the dragon of Dojima was a force to be reckoned with. I hate Yakuza to my core. But in the end, info brokering is really just a hobby for peeping tongues. So what will you do after making enemies out of the mighty Tojo clan? Let's just say I'm curious. So then, but if I give you info for free, my reputation takes the hit. I prefer to keep pay playing the field fair. And that means, I have a job for you, something only the Dragon of Dojima can do.
Sounds about right. I knew it. An underground coliseum? That's right. Rich fools are too much money to burn. And bloodthirsty psychos are my clientele. It's kill or be killed, and that's just fine. This is purgatory. The Sanzu River runs through it. What is this job you'd have me do? Beat three fighters, the prize money's yours, if you can actually do it. You can use that money to buy my intel. Okay. Listen, Kiryu, behind those doors is the ring where you're going to fight three men in a row. Other than our no arms, no armor policy, there are no rules. As long as it's bare knuckle, anything goes. Since the prize is big money, you'll be battling some real tough customers. Win against all three, and your work here is done. Got all that? Yes. <laughs> then when you're ready, let me know. Are you ready? Yes. Oh, are you carrying arms or wearing armor? That's the one thing we do not allow. Take them off. Give the audience something to remember, huh? Have fun. Perfect. Oh, shirt's off. It's a real fight. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a surprise fighter here. Feared for ten years as the dragon of Dojima. Merciless killing his patriarch mercilessly killing his patriarch with his own two hands. Kiryu Kazuma! Taking him on is a man with two wins already. A fugitive from the United States convicted of first-degree murder, Daniel Feldman. And now, no time limit, no rules. Escaped American convict. Oh, jeez. your face out of here bitch convicted murderer that great Kiri Kazuma has shown off his killer Yakuza style here's the next challenger former Muay Thai middleweight champion Goyan Paramuk this will be Kazuma Kiryu's first defensive battle what kind of fight will we see and now, the gong! Let's fight. Former White Toy World Champion. Oh. 
if you want to make it that easy. <laughs> The surprise challenger Kiryu is unstoppable, and now the next fighter. Why is he on the phone? Has been determined. What a shock! The undefeated. Oh, is it Majima? Oh, the undefeated man returns to the cage. Over the past three years, he has yet to lose a single fight. The Vegas Underground Fight Circuit Champion, Gary Buster Holmes. So we meet again. What a coincidence, Kiryu-san. Instant death or climax death, which do you want? The Japanese doesn't mean that uh, what you think it does. The Invincible Yakuza versus the Undefeated Underground King. Don't miss this battle. And now, the gong. All right, we're doing it. Three-year undefeated champion, GB Holmes. Uh-oh. Get body slam. Oh. Yo, you're you're neck. You're just done, bro. Oh. Dropped on your head, bitch. Oh! Whoa, look at how many skill points we got for that. We got 21 just for him. Our strongest fighter yet. The Yakuza wins. He takes down the undefeated king and becomes the new champion. Now it's your turn to do some work. Don't worry. I'll keep my promise. I told you. I keep it fair. First off. Absolutely boost attack damage, hell yeah. Boost maximum health considerably. Cannot learn this yet, why? Oh, because I'm not on the path. Shit. What's this? I will absolutely boost maximum health. So, you wanted to know about the Tojo Clan's 10 billion and some women named Yumi and Mizuki. The Tojo Clan's third cl chairman covered up the robbery. But then, a family patriarch named Nishikiyama exposed it all in the emergency officers meeting. My best guess is that Nishikiyama killed the third chairman. Busy as he's been, I wouldn't be surprised to hear he's gunning for the title of fourth chairman. Maybe you're right. But right now, the Tojo clan is practically in civil war. The third chairman's dead, and a successor has yet to be chosen. Which means, the man who recovers the 10 billion will be named fourth chairman. After Nishikiyama big reveal uh, causes them to tear each other apart, of course. Chivalry among Yakuza is a joke. But it turns out the 10 billion was actually stolen by a woman named Yumi. Got that one on an anonymous tip. What? The Tojo clan conducted their own investigation and found out her sister Mizuki had closed down Eris and vanished right before the theft. Oh. That means they're both prime suspects, but neither of them have turned up. Therefore, Mizuki's daughter, Haruka, 
Say that again? The Tojo clan has been searching for Mizuki's daughter. Haruka is safe with me right now. Haruka. So that's who it was. Two days ago, a strange woman hiding her face showed up. She asked me to find a girl by the name of Haruka. Is it possible this woman was Yumi or Mizuki? Not sure. From only the glimpse I caught of her face, I couldn't say for sure if it was either of them. I didn't last this long by working with people I don't know, so I sent her away. Okay. What is it? Alright, got it. You have a visitor. A visitor? Let's go look. Watch your step. What? Oh, jeez. Very elaborate down here. What is this? Amazing, eh? This is what purgatory is really all about. Five years back, the police installed 50 cameras. They said it was to prevent terrorism, but it didn't do them much good in the end. So I'm watching the town with my own eyes. With the 10,000 cameras I had installed. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, let's see our customer. Got it. Date-san. And he's shot. He's bleeding. What happened? Let's roll back and see. Pull up the other surveillance. Date? He's really down and out now, isn't he? You know Date-san? Boss, this footage is from 10 minutes ago. Hmm? Oh no, they got Haruka! Those bastards! How dare you! What were you doing, Date? Oh shit. Boss, you need to see this. What is it? Switching to live feed. Get you. Dante's in trouble. We gotta get our ass up there. Save Dante. Where's my homie? This place is sick. What's right here? It's falling apart. Oh no, it's falling apart. I literally have to run to go save this man and I just went into a sub story. <laughs> huh? Boy. Hey, what are you doing? Well, I was fixing up my makeshift house, but I made a mistake on the measurements, and now it's not fitting together properly. It could fall apart at any moment. If only I had something I could reinforce materials with. I got some tape from that salary man in front of the bikini bar. Maybe that'll help him. Give him the tape. Boy. Here, will this work? Give him the super strength adhesive tape. Uh -huh. Is this? Where'd you find this? This is the tape that is manufactured uh, that this manufacturer I used to work for at, uh, at was developing. <laughs> it's been so long. We used to say with strong enough tape, you could even build a house. We threw our whole lives into creating the next generation of tape. They really did it. I see. Thank you so much. Really want to give you something. Will this work? Got a silver briefcase. Who's gonna need that? What is this? I found it. I have an idea of what's inside, but that's all I've got. Oh, okay. Well then, I better get uh, propping this thing up. Thanks again. 
You're welcome, buddy. Hopefully I completed that. No, I sure didn't. Whatever the fuck I gotta do with the briefcase. I know. Hey, he's a cop. Yeah, no mistaking it. He busted me in the park a while back. You've done enough. Not yet. I could kill him 100 times. Mind your business, outsider. I owe him at least one good punch. Kill him! Yeah, I think we'd better kill him. So there's nothing I can say? Yeah, nothing. Why should we listen to you anyway? Really? What you gonna do? Don't, Kiryu. If you want to kill him so badly, you'll have to go through me. Yeah, what else do you want, huh? <laughs> Your strength is insane. You're the florist. It's been a while, Date-san. Kiryu. That car that took the little girl stopped at the batting cages. Don't worry. You can pay me later for that one. Thanks. I saw... He's an ex-cop. He was leaking police intel and I blew the whistle on him. After that he fell off the radar, but I never imagined meeting him here. Kiryu. The guys who took Haruka were from the Majima family. The Majima family? Of all people, it had to be Majima-san. be really funny if I run into him before I get there. Save Haruka. Date-san. Can you wait at Serena? But that's... With those injuries, you're no match for the Majima family. And I'm worried about Reina. I don't want her left alone. I get it. Just watch your back. Dude literally has been shot and I didn't... Aoki, Kiryu-san! Aoki, what are you doing in a place like this? Well, as I was coming home from work, the Majima family was swarming the batting center. Did something happen? Yeah, I was actually just on my way to the batting center. Oh, you might want to avoid going through the front. Majima family will have it on lockdown. Best way into the batting center is now this is the back door. Sure. Alright. Well, be careful. Tell me what happened. One more time, please. Why do I have to keep repeating myself? Some men jumped out of a van, grabbed a little girl, and drove off with it. And nobody else saw this happen. This is a child we're talking about here. You don't believe me? In this town, you have to check your sources, ma'am. That's all I'm saying. Wow, what a dick. Alright, let's go. Hey, 
Anyway, get out of my way. <laughs> Can't get to a back door from here? How am I supposed to get in the back door? kind of stupid shit we're getting to. Hello! Been a while! Kitty you Jan! I feel like I'm gonna burst with joy! Now I get to face the dragon of Dojima! It'll be a glorious fight with our very lives on the line! Right, Kitty you Chan? You get me? Right? <laughs> this is the part where you laugh. Laugh it up, dumbass. Stop it. Huh? Give Haruka back. Sure. No pra. She's just behind that door. Didn't I tell you, Kiryu chan? I just want to have a proper fight with you. That's all. Are you being serious? I'm seriously serious. Dead serious. Stop teasing and let us get on with it, Kiryu chan. Ready? Let's go. Is it one on one or is it everybody? Oh yeah! Fuck all of you. Perfect. Majima's move on Majima, hell yeah.
Whoa, he took my heat. That's a lot of horse shit. Oh, with the extra fucking move. Get out of here. That's a load of horse shit. Quit getting up, Majima. I started my swing first. Get up, you stupid fuck. Yeah, here, Majima. And you are one tough customer. That's my boy, Kitty Chan. But whatever, I ain't done. It's over. I'm taking Haruka. Oh, hell no. Die, kid, you. Boss. Why? Kid, you, Chan. He belongs to me. You jackass. Majima's insane. I'm the only one allowed to kill him. Majima, boss. Hey, call an ambulance. Hurry up. Right. Mister. Haruka. Haruka. Seen a lot of crazy shit, Haruka. I was scared. So scared. Sorry, I took so long. I'm sorry, Haruka. I wasn't able to protect you. You were scared, huh? Yeah, I was tied up in a dark room. Then how'd you get untied? But suddenly, it got loud outside, and then... A man I didn't know came in and told me to run. A man you didn't know. Any ideas, Kiryu? None. When I thanked him, he asked if I still had the pendant. What are you talking about? This. Aunt Yumi gave it to me. Hmm, who was that man? Where's Mom? Why can't I see her? 
I'm sorry. I don't like this. I want to see my mom. Uh, Yumi, please. Let me see my mom. Oh, please. Listen, Haruka-chan. Huh? I bought this today. Your mother used to carry this pendant. It's my mom's? Yep. And I brought it to give it to you. She needs you to hold on a little longer, okay? Okay. It's a valuable good luck charm, so don't tell strangers that you have it. That's really important. Haruka-chan, it's yours and yours alone. Did this stranger want your pendant? No, he just told me to take care of it because... It's worth 10 billion yen. Oh my god, what? Let me see it a sec. Needs a key. I wonder if we can force it. No, you can't! It was just a thought. Aruka, do you remember the, what this man looked like? It was so dark, I couldn't see him too well. But he told me to tell Mr. Kiryu about the pendant. He knew my name? Mm -hmm. Who could it be? No clue. The only thing I know for sure is that we've stumbled right into the middle of this thing. The piece, uh, the price of life. Ooh, I think that was chapter five over. Oh, uh, this might be another flashback to Nishikiyama. Hey, wait a goddamn minute! Look who we have here. If it isn't the boss man. I heard you run a collection on storage in kashiwaki sans turf. Are you seriously moving in on his take? Yeah, I'm getting that cash you asked for. There a problem? Are you insane? Why would you do that? Hey, hey, do I have to explain everything to you? Excuse me? There was a time when place, uh, places here were popping up like spring dandelions, but those days are over. Nowadays, to get on top, you gotta take territory by force. Have you no respect? Respect? <laughs> well, if Captain Kashiwagi comes knocking, you'll answer the door. Right, boss? You bastard! 30 mil. That's what you said you needed, by any means possible. If you don't like my methods, then try climbing the ladder with yours. Otherwise, stop crying because you can't do shit on your own. Useless Nishikiyama. Nishikiyama. I like it. Back at it. You little shit! <laughs> this is how you repay me? I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry. You can have my pinky if it would make things right. I don't want it. What good is the pinky of a piece of shit leader who can't even keep his men in line, huh? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 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 I'm sorry. For heaven's sake. I'm glad I caught this before it got up the chain to Kazuma san. I'd hate to disappoint him with a pathetic incident like this. I'll look past your mistake this time. But there won't be a next time. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. This never would have happened if it were Kiryu. Turning him evil. Better stay sharp from now on. Gonna 
break. All right. Chapter six, Father and Child. Perfect. 61? Holy shit. All right. Well, that was part seven. I sure hope you are enjoying this. It's a fun game, fun story, a lot of zany things going on. Definitely a crime drama. Um, I am enjoying this very much. Uh, if you are, please leave a like. Uh, if you would be so kind to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, I would appreciate it. Uh, and yeah, so, so far so good. Uh, learning a lot about how Nishiki basically broke and became evil. <laughs> or what we are considering evil. As, as evil as you can be in organized crime, I guess. Um... We're learning about Haruka. We we learn that she has that uh, basically amulet that probably holds the key to getting the $10 billion that was stolen by Yumi. Uh, really interested to see who the guy was that was in there while we were fighting Majima. That's a pretty interesting story piece. Uh, yeah, Date is useless. <laughs> but yeah, can't wait to keep on playing. I can't wait to see you in part 8. Uh, yeah. See you then.